here we are. I'll have to talk a bit louder because it's very windy today. It's the tail end of a storm. So yeah, here we are on our, our next job and it's gonna be a cracker. We've got to relay all of this York stone, so I'm expecting some of it to be about five, six inch deep. So we're gonna get a vacuum lifter to pick it up. So we're gonna lift it all from here and store it over there. A lot of the pieces coming up. Like here, a lot of the pieces are very small, so we and we want to eliminate that. We want to go for bigger sizes, so we're going to need to order more in when we know exactly what we need. A lot of it's going to be going back down, but also we need extra stuff. And if you see here, you look at this on the corner there. A lot of it's moving as well, so it's all going to be rebedded and then pointed up nice right up to the gate there and then on here we're going to be doing away with this grass and paving right up there to give them an extra parking space so let's get cracking Let's lift the first one up and see what it's like. <laughs> oh, that's not too bad. Oh, that's on Connie. rid of all these flags behind me on the grass there but this section now from here back we're going to be storing down the side there and once we've dug out and stones up we'll then bring them out and then work off that rather than putting too many over there to save carting them too far start there today all lifted so that area they have gone back to the gates and then this area here are all stacked up over there laid out so we can see what we're working with we've just got to lift this path in the morning as well and then we've got a machine coming in first thing to lift this out but yeah you can tell we've been here oh it's a wet one today it's a wet one today but uh, we're cracking on so we've got the machine here as you can see behind me yesterday we lifted all the flags and today we are getting this dug out and we've got the stone booked in for tomorrow so hopefully this rain keeps off and doesn't cause us too much disruption but either way we'll get it done
like an old dish now for the layout of the front path and the border. So you can see before it was like a winding path to the door and then a little bit of grass. Neither here nor there, so what we're doing is just simplifying everything, making a bit more parking space and making the, more of a feature of the door. So there's going to be a nice rectangular bed here, which will come in line off the corner of the house and down and come off this corner. And then here, we're going to have a nice path there leading up to the door, nice and square. That'll come across and we might do like a feature inlay in that bit. And then all this is going to be dropped down to that height there. So it just opens everything up and makes, like say, more of a, an impression to the, to the entrance as you approach the house. <laughs> So we're all dug out now. We've got our line set up. So obviously you just put your line up to check your depths and that. So we've got about 300 mil on this a foot because uh, these flags are thick. So just to allow for the tolerances. So we've got stone coming soon, but the falls on this from our point there on the house will fall in this way out to the front of the driveway. And then from this point here, From this point here, we've got a nice fall from there back. We've got a, a drain down there and an eco, so I'm going to be running from this point here back that way. And everything this way is going to go, be going back that way. And then the depth we've got, let's have a look at that, G. We've got uh, just over 320 we've got. So on average, we've got around 300 mil. That's a say, Good solid sub base, sub grade. So yeah, I'll get the stone in next, and off we go.
short on our direct loads. So we've had a couple of ton loose just to top up over there and around here, and then we're done. Right here in this corner, we've got this wall which has got well, there's been a lot of settlements over the years. You can see it's on a big fall sloping down this way, and also for some reason it stops here and we don't think it looks right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this coping off first, take the brick down, put a new footing in, and then when we rebuild it, we'll rebuild it in line with the step here. Oh yeah, we'll get this off first and see if it's on there. End of day three day, and um, we're all dug out and stones up. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go and collect some sets to start putting in around the edge. We did have these ones, which we were get, the original ones, we were gonna salvage and put back in, but you've got a mixed bag of all different sizes and a lot of them are cement stained as well. So spoke to the clients and we're going to put a different one in, a different set. So I'm going to go and have a little look, see what they've got and then get started on the, uh, on the edges. Right, so we're just about to a little road trip now to pick up some block as well the sets for uh, around the edge of the driveway we're going over to a reclaim yard in the Whittle so just had to do the tunnel now the big pipe see what we can get some nice sets we've arrived at the best yard in the land and we were looking at some grit stone sets like these but they were too too big really for what we needed the width of them and they wouldn't have cost in very well because there was a big variety in sizes but instead we're going for these granite sets so on average they're probably about 100 100 mil well four inch so we get a nice uh, double band of those running around the driveway Got a few hundred ton <laughs> to pick from there all right jake <laughs> what a view what a view beautiful stone as far as the eye can see Right, we're back on the job with the with the sets. I'm really happy with these. They're gonna clean up lovely, and we're gonna get them coursed out into sizes now, and get them loaded out around the drive, and start putting them in. Okay, so we're setting the line up down here to put these sets in. And as you can see, you've got loads, there's loads of nips and uh, gullies and steps there in the way. So what we've done, we've set the height that end. Put a, a set in there at the right height, that end of the grid, and then this side here. That's our starting point there as well. So we've got the line set up, so we're just going to mark various spots along the line and then treat each individual section on its own. So we've got our la we've got it in there on the right height. So we're just going to take the level underneath 
drink it on the man here, mate. Hold on one sec. Just under the line and get it level. Yeah, and then put a mark there. Yeah. And then do the same this side. So again. picked up this time we took a couple of crates with us because the bags that were loaded on were a little bit precarious last time even though they were strapped down and netted so we played safe and put everything in these crates we won't be far off with this lot if we don't make it we'll be very close and we'll know exactly what we need but yeah lovely lovely stuff can't wait to get them down
once a day. Cold, wet, but more progress. We've got nearly all of the setting around the boundary, as you can see there, and in front of the door there. Just got to put this 45 run in and then a little bit towards the gate. But we've run out of sets now, so we need to make another trip over to get them. But we're going to start paving down there tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that.